Oh shit! Oh shit, not again! Not again! Oh my god, that is so horrifying! Get the fuck out! What's going on everybody? Dragast here, and I'm excited to bring to you Osiris New Dawn. Now this is the newest survival game coming out, actually not even released yet, it's going to be released tomorrow on the 28th. So I thought it'd be a good time to check it out, a lot of you guys request that I do more survival games on the channel, and I'm excited to do another one. This one's looking pretty interesting, it's getting a lot of mixed reviews, but a lot of good reviews as well, so hopefully it's a good one. Now a brief backstory of the game, I don't know much about it, but after crash landing on a distant planet, build a colony with your friends, battle others and explore the system, prospecting for immeasurable riches, discover, fight and tame indigenous alien creatures, or search for lost human. So yeah, the typical survival game, you crash land on some sort of planet and you have to survive, except this one's more sci-fi like, so I'm excited about that because I love sci-fi games. So we're going to do single player here. Uh, multiplayer is not even online yet, so we can't do that even if we wanted to. But let me know in the comments below, would you prefer a single player where we can take our time and, you know, enjoy the land, or would you prefer me to play multiplayer? Generally with multiplayer, the series doesn't last as long though, because I'm usually dead relatively quickly. So there is factions in this game. We can either be the UNE or the Outlanders. United Nations of Earth is a globalized coalition of nations cooperating to make mankind a multi-planetary species. Members of the UNE have access to all the latest technology and inherently work together to colonize the solar system. And then we got the Outlanders. The Outlanders are a band of space pirates who treat space as an ungoverned, lawless territory. I think you guys know which one I'm picking. Outlanders are great at surviving on their own or in small groups and are extremely resourceful, especially with resource prospecting and domesticating indigenous alien species. Alright, we are going to be the Outlanders here. Oh, I love how my suit changes as well. That's fancy. Now, there is classes in this game, but all these ones are unavailable. I'll quickly go over them if you are curious, though. Uh, scientists run the special technology industry. Marines are great at mowing down unsuspecting victims like a goddamn tank on ecstasy. Wow, that's a good explanation. Okay, I kind of want to be a Marine, but I can, unfortunately. <laughs> Engineers can craft vehicles and structures better and faster than all the rest, and Rangers are the explorers and scavenging specialists. Well, we can only be a scientist, so let's customize this and get into it. Oh, you can change the colors. That's cool. So we're going to go... I, I, you know what? I am a pirate, so I'm going to go all dark and red. So the detail... You know what? Actually... No, I did, I did like that as red. That was pretty cool. Now, we can also change the glow. Oh, yeah. Red, green, and black. That sounds fun. And I'm going to be named... Let's just call myself Pete, because I like the idea of Pete the Pirate. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that's my nickname. So there we go. Create. Now we get to choose... Uh, actually, we get to choose how we can customize the world. Very similar to Ark. Uh, you can change the world to how you like if you want a, a harder experience or an easier experience. Obviously, I don't know how hard this is right now, so I think I'm just going to keep it to the suggested. I don't think I can change the planet. We're going to be on Proteus 2. And yeah, that's all I can really do here. So let's get into it, and uh, yeah, hopefully I don't die too soon. <laughs> Oh, this is a cool loading bar. I've never seen anything like this before. You actually see what you're loading, and I don't know, it's just a cool bar. Anyways, here we go. Third moon of the Theseus Prime, Proteus 2, day numero 1. So this is crash landing day. Oh shit, my suit's broken already. Suit breach. Uh, okay. Uh, there's a lot to take in right away. I, <laughs> I don't like that. There could have been a cutscene or something. Okay, we got missions at the top. Use patch tape to fix suit breach. Okay, where's patch tape? There's patch tape, so it's on my third bar. So let's do that real quick. So we're just gonna patch this sticker up. Uh, we can also toggle camera perspective. Oh my god, look at this game, guys. Usually survival games, I mean, they're fun, but graphically not that impressive. This one, oh, this is looking fucking great. Okay, let's, let's, let's focus on the game, though. We need to get survival kits. Is this, is this the survival kit? I'm, I'm assuming that's the survival kit. Okay, so we get a baked potato, some steamed carrots, some water, everything we need to survive, so we're gonna take that. Thank you for... Placing that right by my spawn. We also got an ammo box here. I'm going to need some ammo. So I got a pistol, assault rifle, assault rifle magazine, assault rifle magazine. All right. So we got some gear. Can I actually... All right. I wonder how do I, how do I equip this? Maybe change that with the duct tape. Okay. So assault rifle is on three and I'll put my pistol. Well, I want to keep my map out. I don't know what chisels for. I'm assuming multi-tool is for like everything. So I think I'm just going to keep my pistol in my inventory for right now. At least I got my assault rifle. 
Oh yeah, look, look oh yeah, look, <laughs> look at those arms go. That is one flexible motherfucker, I'll tell you that much. Okay, so we got a guy here. I'm assuming I shouldn't fight anything yet, unless it's mean to me. I, I'm gonna be re relatively peaceful for the starting here, because I don't know what's going on. Uh, inflatable dome kit. Uh, build inflatable domes. I'm assuming we're going to need that to do so. Uh, kit used to build inflatable dome. Go to the structures tab in your character menu and select inflatable dome to build. Okay, we'll take that. I gotta assume that's kind of like my base, so uh, maybe I should walk around really quick here and see what we can find. Uh, cause I don't want to put my base just anywhere. It's, I, I'm assuming it's gotta be at a special place. Look at this fucking world, though. No Man's Sky, eat your heart out. I mean, procedural generation is a great thing, but sometimes just building your own lands is even better. Now, oh wow, I got, I got rocket boots, man! Okay, that's cool. Okay, in retrospect, I don't even know what I'm supposed to loot here. I don't know what looks good or a bad place. Uh, so I think I'm just going to build... Kind of in the open here by these crab motherfuckers in the in the distance. Because I gotta assume I'll be able to move it, so I think it said in structures. Okay, so let's just see what we got in here. Just out of curiosity, we got laboratories, hallways, biodomes. So, very similar to Subnautica, you can build kind of like a sea base or, you know, a planet base in, in this regard. So I'm gonna build my inflatable dome. Ooh, okay, so rotate left, rotate right. Oh, that's cool. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm digging this. So I guess we'll just put this... Right here. Let's confirm that build. Uh, hold action button. There we go. And I guess I'm building it right now. And we are done. Not too bad. Oh yeah, look at that. We even got a little gate in the front. Uh, save inside inflatable dome. So I'm just following the missions right now. We're kind of in a tutorial. Uh, it's going well though. So we got a nice little bed in here. Does this... Oh, it does regen my oxygen. Okay, so that's good to know because I was a little worried about that oxygen bar because I didn't see anything regarding the oxygen yet, but I guess it replenishes in here. So let's activate this. Uh, save progress, 25 health, plus save game, 4 minutes and 56 seconds. Is there like a, a time between, I'm assuming? So I must have saved. Search for minerals to build forge. I don't know how to search for minerals. Search the planet for right materials to start building forge utility. The forge is an outdoor crafting table that can be used to build more complex materials that are needed to expand your base to more useful and fortified settlements. Navigate the utilities tab inside the character menu to build view the build requirements. Okay, let's do that first. So we go to utilities here. And I believe it was the forge it wanted, so we need iron, titanium, and plutonium. Uh, yes. Okay, so I'm assuming I can see some rocks over here. Let's just go over there and see what we can get. So I have a multi-tool here. I gotta assume, can I mine with this? Oh, th oh, it even tells me what they are. Uh, that's convenient. Okay, so I just gotta hover over them to figure out what they are. Tool mode. Okay, now can I extract with this? Or, actually, there's a chisel here. I gotta assume... Holy shit! Was that ever a swing? Okay, and I gotta manually pick up each one. I don't like that. I like it when it just gets sucked into your inventory. But I do appreciate how quick this is to loot. You can just whack this thing and get as much as you want. I feel like I'm fighting the fucking rock, though. Like, like the way he's swinging at it, I I, I just can't take it seriously. It's, it, it, it's not like a pickaxe swing. It's, it's like a swipe. Oh, encumbered! Oh god, this is not going to be fun. <laughs> look, look, look at this walk when I'm too freaking heavy. Okay, so, let's see if we can make it yet. I don't know what we need. I forget what we were getting. Uh, so we need titanium and plutonium. So did I- was all I getting was freaking iron? Okay, so we got some aluminum as well. Uh, don't need that much iron, so we're gonna drop that, and then I should be okay now. So I need to find titanium and plutonium. It seems like this is a zone with just a lot of aluminum and iron. I'm not seeing any titanium or plutonium. So we're gonna walk around here. I'm actually... I saw a little creature over here somewhere, and I'm curious what they have on them. I mean, I am a pirate, so I can do whatever the fuck I want. There it is. Okay, it's not that little anymore. It looks like it's almost drunk. I mean, look, look, look at this fucking walk. What is it doing? <laughs> Okay, there you are. Wow, you got some good balance to be going up. That's that hard of an incline there, buddy. But look at his legs. They're like, that is so weird. Okay, so this is an Orsec. It's a level one. I gotta assume that means it's easy. Let's find out, shall we? Okay. What the fuck? Did it just vanish? So I probably should say this game is kind of an early build. At least I think it is, judging by the fact that that guy just vanished. But I kicked his ass, so... Yep, okay, they just seriously vanish. Oh, uh, that's not good. Okay, we, we got a dust storm. Um, I don't know if I should get out of this or if I'm totally okay. Uh, I'm gonna go back to looking for 
some more minerals, but I do got to worry about my oxygen as well. It's going down relatively quickly. Okay, I don't know why my oxygen is going down so fast. I guess it's because of the suit temperature. Uh, oh, wow, it actually regens on its own. Okay, so the suit temperature plays a role with my oxygen for whatever reason. Didn't know that, uh, but it is regening, so I think we're okay here. Definitely a little harder to look for minerals now, though. I can't see anything in front of me, so... I'm just kind of walking about in the dust storm here, hoping this goes away soon. We did make it back to the inflatable dome. I guess I can replenish my oxygen just to be safe. I don't know if this always regens or if I have, like, a an oxygen pack on me that regens. What the hell? Repair? Oh. Um... Okay, so I guess it does get damaged over time, I'm assuming? Alright, oxygen is replenishing in here, so let's just save just in case, and, uh, wait for my oxygen to replenish. Oh, oh shit, I didn't mean to do that! Okay, I didn't mean to pack it up! Uh, that's good to know, though, so you can pack these things in, uh, and it doesn't lose any re resources, so that's cool. But I definitely did want to, uh, keep this here for right now. <laughs> Okay, back outside. It looks like the dust storm has gone away, which is good. Now, we walked over there. We saw a lot of the resources over there. I gotta look for a mine or something. I'm just gonna head this way and see what we can find. Okay, did I just see Parasite? Uh, there's something moving around there. I'm assuming it's a Parasite, which makes me very uncomfortable. Let's open up my gun here, just in case. I'm seeing... What the fuck? Whoa! What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Um... Did I just die? Please don't tell me I just died by that turd-looking thing. Ah, oh, shit. Yes, I would like to fucking continue. What the fuck was that? Where did that come from? Okay, don't go down there. That clearly is the turd worm's lair. Did it just say deceased? Oh, I see myself. Oh, did I, did I lose all my inventory? I did. Oh, shit. Okay, so we gotta go. I don't know when this guy comes, so I'm just gonna rush over, see if I can loot myself. Uh, raid dead body, take all. Okay, close and get the fuck out. Okay, well at least I know I can loot my dead bodies. Oh, what the hell? Ew! Okay, so there's the parasites that I was looking for. Uh, where'd my gun go though? Okay, so it just took my assault rifle off my hotbar, but there we go, we got my gun. Let's go kill this parasite, see what it, it can give. Oh, there we go, and it vanished once again. I think it just gives me XP and that's it. Oh shit! Oh shit! Not again! Not again! Oh my god! That is so horrifying! Get the fuck out! Holy shit! <laughs> How does that thing see me? What a crazy fucking mechanic! I was not prepared to see the face of that thing. What's weird is it doesn't make any fucking noise at all. Something of that size is going to shake the ground. There's, there's shit that's going to happen. Now, I'm realizing it's only showing me where my dead body is. Now, I do have a map thing here. But I'm hoping I can find my home again, because I've been walking for quite a while here. Let's go back to this view and see if there's anything on this map that helps. Oh, this is actually a really cool map, though. But no, I'm not really seeing anything on it, which worries me. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't show me where my home is for whatever reason, but I'm seeing that shiny thing. I'm almost certain that's it over there. Uh, and all these creatures are looking familiar, obviously. We got the derp tards over here climbing a mountain. Oh, shit, what the fuck just happened? Oh, oxygen empty. Okay, so... Uh, hopefully... Is it going to regen it? Oh, God. I don't think it is. Oh, God. This isn't good. Now, thankfully, I can use my jetpack to speed this up. But I am dying. This is not good. I don't even know where my bar is. I'm assuming my bar is the bottom green bar. And I am just quickly dying. What the fuck is going on? Is, is, is this my eyesight or is it getting foggy out? Well, thankfully, no oxygen it just means there's no oxygen being pumped into my suit. I think I'm actually okay here. We still got a long ways to go, though, to get back. But uh, now I know oxygen can be depleted. I'm not sure why it's not regening. I'm assuming it has to do with either the PSI or something in the left-hand side. But, oh shit, that's not even it. I thought that was my base. That's that robot thing. Okay, there it is. It's still in the distance. It's so hard to see because it's so foggy. Ah, uh, this is not going well, though. I am walking so slow. Like, I'm walking slower and slower. Let's go to the other view just to see what's going on here. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm just totally exhausted. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't fall over. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Uh, I don't know what's going on with my suit. It's red now, though. That's not good. We're still... 
pretty fucking far away. I'm... God damn it. And that is where we die. We ran out of oxygen. I would like to continue. God fucking damn it. That's annoying, though. Uh, it's, it's not like it's that bad of a thing. We almost made it. I thought we almost made it anyways. Where the fuck is it? All right, well, let's loot my body. Oh, it's this way. Okay, so there we go. Raid this. Take all once again. God damn it. That's so annoying, though. I don't like that I'm actually dying. Uh, what's going on? Is that an arm hanging out of me? I'm really confused. Why is there an arm in my butt? I, I don't, I don't get it. There's an arm. Oh, okay, it's gone. Oh, what the fuck just happened? What, what are those? Are those, are those my arms right now? Okay, they're still going. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? All right, well, let's get back to my place before I fucking lose it again. Not that I really need to now because, well, as you can see, I am totally fine, but I'm going to go there and save again just in case. It's also raining out right now. This is, the atmosphere of this game is absolutely beautiful. Okay, but let's get inside, save up really quickly. Still can't find a lot of the resources I was looking for, but I did get a few of them. Uh, as you can see, we got copper, magnesium, iron, and aluminum. Now, I don't know if I need to combine some resources to make the other ones, or I'm just getting unlucky and not finding what I need. But maybe we should just move on and try and build something else that we can, like a depository. It's an outdoor storage container. Definitely want to need that because I'm already being encumbered. So I know there's aluminum around here, so I think I'm going to go try and make that really quickly. I think these missions aren't meant to be done right away, like I'm assuming they need to be. So we're just going to go over here because I believe I saw some aluminum over on this side. This is so beautiful. Look, look at this game, guys. E even if there's not much going on in the game yet, again, it's a very early version of this game. It's just fucking beautiful. There's the aluminum I was looking for. It's been, <laughs> it's been a long night, man. You can't see shit at night. I'm hoping I can somehow make a flashlight or something later on because this is damn near impossible. Okay, aluminum. We need lots of aluminum. Forget how much we need, but we're probably going to over-encumber ourselves here. Yes, we are over-encumbered. Let me make sure I have everything I need to make this depository. Yes, I do. So we're just going to head back now. We're not that far away. As you can see, spawn location is 120 meters away, but I can't see, like, anything right now, as, as you guys can clearly see. The problem is there's not even a light on my damn house, so I don't know where it is. All I can see is the Osiris Mission Personal Assistant... Because, obviously, it's, uh, glowing in the distance here. It's right beside me. But I don't know where my house is, so I think I gotta wait till daytime here. Hopefully, I'll be okay. Uh, let me see if... Okay, so this thing can actually help me patrol and repair. Uh, let's get him to do that right now. Hopefully, he'll go and repair my home. Okay, so, unfortunately, I have to set target for him. So, obviously, I'm not gonna be able to do that. Personal assistant receive command to cancel target. Uh, so I'm just gonna let him wander around, I guess. I didn't even realize he was my pet. I thought he was just some random robot. And now I think I'm just going to wait for daytime because I can't see shit. I, I wish there was, like, maybe, maybe there is a light in here or something. Let's go to utilities and see if I can find something. Beacon. A beacon can be placed to help keep track of interesting locations. Well, that's good to know. It's looking like, unfortunately, though, there's no flashlights or anything. Unless it's, like, under furniture. Maybe, like, a torch? No. Uh, it's... that's it. There's nothing here. Unless it's in structures, which it isn't. Utilities just has nothing. Well, that fucking sucks. Because I can't see shit. No! 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 What? What the fuck? There's something hissing at me over here. Can you help me, Osiris Missional? Missing personal assistant? I think there's a snake or something. I'm scared. Uh, okay. Let me just, uh, customize. Oh, no. I, I, I don't want to customize you. Oh, my God. I, I need you to help me. What the fuck is that? Oh, shit! Thank you! <laughs> I don't see anything here, man! Okay, it, it is seriously fighting it. Okay, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to help. So let's get my freaking pistol back on here. Fuck the duct tape. Don't need that shit right now. Alright, here we go. Where the fuck is it? I can see! I can somewhat see it! There you go. Keep hitting it. Keep hitting it. Oh, yes! There we go. I think we killed it. Oh, yep. It is dead. Now, can I actually loot this? Raid dead creature. Uh, added plus three alien meat to backpack. So that one actually did give me loot. God, that was scary. It just randomly hissed at me as I'm sitting here just patiently waiting for daytime. So thank you, Osiris Mission Personal Assistant. Uh, oh, uh oh, oh. What, what, what are you shooting at now, buddy? Oh, I, I hear something running. This is freaky. It's spinning around. Please kill it. Oh, shit. It's... Don't, don't kill my personal assistant. Don't you fucking do that. Okay, it is dead. God, that one didn't make any noise at all. Dead Infant Nightwalker. 
Okay, there's night walkers. That's why I'm having an, an issue. Let's raid that dead creature. I would love to get home. Um, maybe I can see it now. It's getting a little lighter out. Uh, is that thing moving? Oh, no. There's something right here, though. Okay, there we go. Oh, it jumps! It jumps! I can hardly see it! Oh, this is freaky. Okay, this is really fucking freaky. Okay, help me, please. Osiris, you gotta get better at aiming, buddy. You gotta... Oh, what the fuck? It just pushed me down. Okay, seriously, what the hell is this thing? It's, it's, it's just it's just legs. Look at this. Legs for days. Or I guess, technically, arms that are legs. That's a raid dead creature again. God damn it. Now, now I'm seriously out of ammo? Are you fucking kidding me? This, this is... This is... You should not be out at night, clearly. I'm learning that now. Okay, well, my assistant is keeping me safe. I'm right at the spawn location. I know my house wasn't far from the spawn location, but seriously, there needs to be a light on this house or something, because I can't see anything here. Okay, I think I can see it. I think I can see it in the distance here. I'm encumbered, but I got the resources to store a lot of shit, and that's good. Nighttime, not fun in this game. I definitely learn now, go home and just sleep through it. But we made it back to the inflatable dome, so I guess we'll just build this thing. Can I build it inside? I don't really want my inventory outside. What are you shooting at now? What is fun? What, what, what? Oh, what the fuck? Where did this come from? Oh, God. Okay, so this thing, this pistol, has a very slow re reload time. I definitely need more ammo for my assault rifle, but we were able to kill another one of these things. Uh, infant night walkers. I do not want to see the parents of this thing, I'll tell you that much. Okay, let's get inside before anything else decides to attack me. Jesus Christ. We can also replenish everything in here, and let's try and build this thing. So, we are going to want to build a depository. Oh, what is that noise? Oh, oh, okay, so there's something outside right now. I guess I cannot build this inside, so let's cancel build. I don't want my little, little robot to die. What the fuck? Why are these things at my front door? Oh, shit! It just knocked me down. Okay, I'm, I'm staying in my house. Get the fuck out of here! Get off my lawn, bitch! Oh shit, okay. Okay, it's clearly not listening to me. God damn it. Okay, one's dead. There's another one here. I don't know where my robot is. Is there one on my roof? No, I thought I saw one on my roof there, but we're okay. I think it killed my fucking robot, though, which really sucks. Holy shit, did that thing ever fucking run? Oh my god, I don't like the creatures in this game. Just let me store my shit, please, before, before we friggin' fight. Alright, there we go. It's dead. Is my robot gone? Did you kill my fucking robot? Why- why didn't the robot come inside with me? Okay, well unfortunately, for whatever reason, I cannot put the depository inside my building. It is rather big, so we're just gonna put it... Uh, well, it's not really fitting there, so... Fuck, this is really fucking big. Okay, we're just gonna put it right here for right now. So confirm build, we'll build that thing, and then store a lot of this stuff. Alright, nice and done. Objective built. Open depository, so it looks like... Quite a bit of space in this thing. Definitely glad I'm, I made it early on. So we're going to store all my iron in here. Uh, is there a quick way to store this? Uh, any button here? Store an inventory? Okay, so store an inventory is technically the depository. So there we go. We're just going to transfer all of this over. over. Alien meat. I don't really need that right now. We still have our baked potato and steamed carrots. Haven't had any issues with water yet. Uh, my assault rifle, though, I don't know if I really need that because I don't have any ammo right now. I should probably figure out how to make ammo for the thing, too. Honestly, I think that's why I'm supposed to make the, uh, forge, because I'm assuming that's where you make bullets. So, we're gonna focus on that again today. Uh, day number two, raid dead creature. Let's get that. Let's get this. Hopefully these things go away. I don't like that these things spawn at night on top of me, but I don't think I got a choice. Flashlight battery? Wait, I got a flashlight? Okay, I gotta figure out how to use the fucking flashlight then, because I didn't- I didn't know I had one, guys. I'm sorry. I dealt with that whole night in darkness. And I guess I didn't technically need to. Well, that fucking sucks. What? What? No. No. Don't want to fuck. God, some of these creatures. Like, look at this thing over here, even. Then I saw that huge thing. It's like a snake. Yeah, don't want to screw around with some of these creatures. They are fucking horrifying. Couldn't be like ordinary cute little humanoids. Had to be like snake creatures. My damn screen's getting dirty, too. I'm thinking it's my actual computer monitor that's dirty, but no, it's the fucking game. So, there is a shower you can make. I can see why you would want it now. Please don't come over here. Okay, day number two of resource gathering didn't go well at all. There is very few resources in this game, guys. I guess this is kind of meant as a group survival game more than a single-player survival game. Or I'm just getting really unlucky. Uh, speaking of that, let's see if I can... Oh, yeah, there we go. I figured out how to turn on my light, by the way, so... At least now we can see tonight. 
Okay, so bad news. I asked my fellow YouTubers who are playing this game how the fuck to find titanium or plutonium, and I guess it just really is as rare as it seems. It's just very hard to find. So we're two days into this, still haven't found that. So what I think my plan is, we're going to pretty much have a deployable base, which is exactly what we have. We have we have the inflatable dome. I was planning on building a bigger base here, but I think I'm just going to travel the land and bring out the dome whenever I want to. I don't know why I didn't think of that before, to be honest, because it just can be held into your inventory. The bad part about that is I can't hold all of this in my inventory, but I really need to find that titanium and plutonium before we move on. Now, I did get some more resources here, but nothing that's going to be of use for me right now. So I think what I'm gonna do is have maybe this thing here, and then I can always put a waypoint on this to remind me where it is, and then obviously I can come back and get the resources when I want to. But we do gotta travel, I feel, further to find these resources. So I know we didn't get much done this episode, guys. I was hoping to get more done, but this seems to be a bit of a slower survival game. Let me know what you think is in the comments below. Do you want to see some more of this? There were some really cool alien encounters. That's what I'm liking so much about this game right now. Don't really like the resource grind, but... That's kind of the point of survival games, unfortunately, sometimes. So I think next time we'll be packing up and uh, going around if you guys, of course, are enjoying this. So, of course, let me know in the comments below how you feel about this. If you want to see more, that would be great. And yeah, as always, thanks for watching and liking, guys. I'll see you in the next one.